Hello and welcome. The first thing that you're going to want to do when you open up your Lettering Pro 3 is you're going to want to go through and, and find out where everything is located. So it'll help you as you're doing your designs. Up at the very top left hand corner you're going to see your menus. And here is where you'll find all the different tools and options available in the program. If you simply left click on one of the menus, it'll drop down and you'll see the available options. Under Edit, View, Tools, Help, and even the My Floriani Today screen. This is a screen that is often underutilized that has a lot of information. This is also the screen that pops up when you first open your application. If you go ahead and select it, you'll notice it pops up and this is where a lot of helpful information let you know if there is a update available. It'll tell you how to download videos, it'll have a help area, product guides, stabilizers, threads, and also allows you to choose if you're going to create a new design, open a design, open a recently used one, even where you can access help and what's new in the program. So that's a very helpful tool that uh, again, like I said, is often underutilized. The next area up at the top is your file bar. This is where you can select a new object, you can open a design, you can save the current design that you're working on. You can also do a print preview to show you um, the design and the color sequence of that design as it shows out. You have your card box, which allows you to send a current design to a card box. Uh, a batch conversion, where you can convert um, file formats to other file formats. You have your cut option. You have your copy option and paste option. You also have an undo and a redo. And importantly, you have your zoom capabilities, which we'll go into more later. You have this little start stop feature that allows you to select where you want the design to start and end. If you want it to start in a different location than in the center or end in a different location, you have the ability to do that. We also have our auto lot stitch feature, our properties box, which is actually located over here on your screen. Uh, this is a newer feature, our how to video tutorials. It's a very helpful tool that allows you to watch videos on how to do various tasks inside of your software program. Um, this little feature right here just tells you about your software. And the important thing to note is that if you want to make sure that you have the latest version, you can see it posted right here that the version is 3.06. If I go back to the My Floriani Today screen, you'll see that version 3.06 is the latest version and if it if you had the option for 3.07 here you would know that you would want to update um, it does let you know when you need to update as well and then you have your your text feature which is um, what this program is all about then along the left hand side we have our edit bar this is where you um, have the tools such as select objects, a lasso select object, you have your zoom tool where you can zoom in and out. It's kind of similar to up on the file bar zoom feature. You have your pan tool, you have your ruler to measure things, you have the option to show a 3D view, show your grids, turning it on and off, showing stitches, um, showing stitch ends, your command tools, um, selecting a hoop. And over on the right hand side we have the properties section. This is where you do all your adjustments to your design. And then we have the tree view down at the bottom which will list out all the objects and break them down um, for each design. Down at the bottom is where you have your color selections. You can choose different colors. You can select colors from certain brand types. Um, you can convert colors to the, the next closest color in a different brand. And down at the bottom we have 
um, what we call the status line. This will show you the object status, the, the total objects, selected objects, stitch count. It'll show the distance between stitches as you're digitizing. A bunch of the information is located down here as you're working on your design. So those are some of the features. We will go more in depth on those as we get going. Just wanted you to know of the different areas and to be aware of them. And you will definitely want to go ahead and play around and view the different options to get comfortable with it.